When do hormones get released? If you're the parent of a teenager, you'll probably answer all the time. Hey everybody, Organized Biology here. There are actually three different times when hormones will be released, depending on the cell and depending on which hormone that cell will secrete. So I'm gonna talk about the three main ways. The first way is called a humoral response. Now humor doesn't mean laughter and funny, although you get that on this channel, but humor actually means fluid usually fluid with some sort of stuff dissolved in it. So a humoral response is when an endocrine cell, so a hormone releasing cell, will release its hormones when something in fluid is off too high or too low. So again, it could be the fluid amount itself or it could be the solute, so this thing dissolved in the fluid. Now where's the fluid? Obviously, the bloodstream. So let's get a really good example here. Let's say our blood sugar, our blood glucose goes up. So now you've got a bunch, a bunch of glucose caked in your bloodstream. And this happens naturally after a meal, of course, but chronic long-term high blood sugar levels is actually dangerous, so we need to be able to bring that down. Well, when high blood sugar is detected by this endocrine cell with what's called a chemoreceptor, this cell will then release its hormone into the bloodstream. And can anybody guess what cell this is and what hormone this is? Well, this is a beta cell of the pancreas, and the hormone it is releasing is called insulin. And we know that insulin is a peptide hormone, ends in IN, and it's going to lower blood sugar levels. So that's a great example of a humoral response. Some concentration of solute or fluid in the blood tells the endocrine cell, release its hormone. Great. Now, the next one is actually called a hormonal response. Now, this is going to seem a little confusing, but bear with me here. A hormonal response is basically when there's already some hormone in the bloodstream. And that hormone is going to trigger this cell to then release its own hormone. You catch that? So the hormone itself told this cell to release this cell's hormone. And notice that these hormones are different, right? So this guy right here is often called a releasing hormone. Or to be more fancy, is called a tropic hormone. Which tropic or trope in refers to acting on a cell to then tell that cell, to release its own hormone. So let's write that definition down. Well, so what's an example of this? Well, the anterior pituitary gland releases a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone. And as you can guess, thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH for short, will act on the thyroid gland and tell it to release its own hormone, that being T3 or T4. So the stimulating hormone stimulated this guy to release T3, T4, therefore this is a hormonal control. Now last one, this is going to be called neural control. And this is simply when a neuron communicates with an endocrine cell to tell it to release its hormone. Now the way it will do that, as all neurons do, is it'll send what's called an action potential, flow of positive charges down the axon, this end of the neuron, terminating here where we'll release chemicals called neurotransmitters into the space called the synapse. Want to learn more about the nervous system, you can check out this video here. But those neurotransmitters will then obviously be detected by the cell with chemoreceptors, because the neurotransmitters are chemicals, and it will tell that cell, once again, to release its hormone into the bloodstream. So what's an example of this? Well, in your body, whenever you're in fight or flight mode, you get what's called sympathetic innervation activation. That's basically when what's called a sympathetic neuron and many of them for that matter, are stimulating your body to be ready to fight or run away from some sort of danger. So this sympathetic neuron also talks to the cells of what's called the adrenal medulla. The adrenal glands are basically the halves of the kidneys. They sit on top of your kidneys. It would look like this. So if this were your kidneys, terrible drawing, I know, that would be the adrenal glands. And the adrenal medulla is actually in the middle of the adrenal glands. So that would be cells located in that region. And when the sympathetic neuron talks to this cell using its neurotransmitter, it'll tell the adrenal medulla to release, you've heard of this, adrenaline, also known as epinephrine. But adrenaline, you can think about it, right? When you get an adrenaline rush, you're ready to run, you're ready to fight, you're ready to do whatever you need to to stay alive. So since a neuron stimulated this guy to release a hormone, it is neural control. Now, not all of these guys will release them at the same time. As you can tell, this was from glucose levels, this was from another hormone, and this was from a random neuron response. So the question is, what types of patterns do we have for hormone release? Well, we're gonna address that next. 